What is up YouTube? Welcome to another Q&A with me and this is part number two. So I've gathered the 50 most interesting questions from my Instagram pool and today we're going to answer them. If you haven't seen this yet, this is how my workspace and my office turned out. Pretty hyped about it and I pretty much like it. And I've been spending a lot of time lately here. Now, let's get straight to the point. Question number one, what does Diane mean? Well, actually nothing. The idea came from Princess Diana and my mom and dad really liked that name and they were expecting a girl actually because I already have an older brother so they, want, they really wanted a girl. So they thought they would call me Diana. But there it comes, it came a boy. So they decided I'm gonna be Diane. So that's pretty much it. What is happiness for you? Probably having a sense of goal, a sense of purpose in life and striving to be better every day, striving to do, to go towards that goal, to chase it and just, and somehow having a purpose in life. So yeah, that's happiness for me. Now, number, number three, how do you see yourself in four years? Professional, personal, loving. I'm a big dreamer and a big believer in achieving everything actually everything that you that you ever imagined so i would say i see myself in a big house with a pool um somewhere in spain hopefully of course with the love of my life and having very successful companies and helping people and changing their lives on a daily basis that would be probably the perfect life for me in four years number four what is your job or what did you do before you did this i've done three things. I've been a dishwasher in Germany, I've been barkeeper since I was 16 in Bulgaria, but as soon as, but as, soon as I moved to Germany at 18 I was a dishwasher because I couldn't speak German and then after I learned German I was a waiter and after that I was studying and finally I found my calling. Number five, have you ever struggled with anxiety and if yes how did you manage it? Well I'm pretty sure everybody on this world has at one point struggled of anxiety or any kind of depression. And if there is somebody that says no, well, he's lying 100%. But for myself, I would say I get into anxiety or depression when I start procrastinating and just skip the chores or the things I need to do. But whenever I start working towards my goals and just start doing things that I have to do, uh, it disappears and I start feeling better. So I think you just need to do more and just do what you need to do and you're gonna feel better. Number six, will your own social media content change now that you're helping others grow theirs? Um, no, actually, I'm, gonna st I'm still gonna keep Diane Co. And after all, sport is my life, so it, you just can't snap it like this and change my life. So uh, it's, just another, um, it's just another project which I'm building with a friend. Um, and after all, I need, a pro I need a proof that I can go viral. So I'm gonna keep my account and still grow it as more as possible. And parallel, do the go viral and help other people grow their accounts. So the answer is no. Number seven. Do you feel stoked by your female fans' comments? Well, not necessarily stop. I really like engaging and replying to people, fans and supporters. So not really, probably that's the price I pay where I jump rope without a t-shirt. But no, 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 I think I'm pretty good with it. Hey, Diane, who picks the songs? Always me and only me. Most of the, most of the songs, uh, most of the songs, probably 90% of the songs are songs which I really enjoy, a part of 10, and the other 10% are probably songs which are going viral. So yeah, that's always me. Do you pressure yourself because a lot of people look up to you and see you as a role model? Um, I always pressure myself, actually. Um, and the main reason for that is because I like being under pressure and I work better, I can concentrate more and I, do, I can do my work properly. Otherwise, um, yeah, I like being under pressure. Home team or party team? Last time I worked somewhere after midnight was two years ago. So, um, home. Do you live alone roommate? Um, yes, I live with a roommate, actually two years already. Um, but in the next year, I'm going to move out to, an, to a different country. That's going to be Spain. So uh, that's the goal. How do you motivate yourself? You're so positive. Well, I don't know. I just think about the future and um, I'm just going to be super sad if I don't accomplish the things I really want to accomplish. So that's the thing. I need to move my ass. What's the best advice um, anyone's given you? Well, the best advice that somebody gave to me was probably my best friend 
uh, remember where you're going there. So that was at the time when I, where I was 18. I, I was, he, was, he came with me to the airport and that was the first time I left Bulgaria and went to Germany. So it was about time that I was going to be a dishwasher and so on. And just like a sign of don't give up. Just remember what's your purpose. Remember, remember why you're doing it. This is like probably the advice that I still keep into my heart. And yeah, that's it. Did your family support you when you took up sports or not at all? Actually, no one did. I mean, it really sounds like a nonsense that telling your family, your parents or whoever, hey, I'm going to... I'm gonna make a living out of jump rope. How does how does actually this sounds? I'm I can't even blame them. Five things you can't you can't live without. My phone, my camera, my jump rope, sugar, and sports, of course. What three characteristics will you use to describe yourself? Happy, positive, and very silly. I think if you know me, that's the perfect description for me. How do you like living in Switzerland? Is it your home now? Yes, right now it's my home. I've been here for five years. It's very peaceful, I do my stuff and um, very international as well, especially in Zurich. So I love it. What do you think success is? Well, every, every person has a different, different perspective about success, but I would say um, just living a happy life, not worrying about money, being able to provide for yourself, family, parents, whoever and uh, just being positive all the time and having kids as well. So I think that's it. What is your goal in life and who is your hero? Just like the previous question, I wanna have a big family of three, four or even more kids, uh, a big happy family. Even better to have a whole football team actually. But yeah, that's mainly um, staying the person I am as I've always been. I didn't grow up with a hero. But I, there are people who I look, look up to and they are mainly like athletes and that's Muhammad Ali outside and inside the ring of course, the heavyweight champion of the world, the great Ali and Cristiano Ronaldo just because of his mindset of not giving up, just trying to be the best always and these are the people I looked up to. Favorite non-fit meal? Right now, Milka Choc Choc. These are like that, the chocolate uh, Milka biscuits. Super tasty, can't describe that much. But like, you should try it. Just write in Google, Milka Chuck Chuck. Would you say you are happy in your life or are these, are there things missing? Well, um, blah. Happiness is a state of mind. Um, of course there are missing things. My mom's missing a big house, a fast car and everything she never had. But we're gonna be able to provide them in the future for sure. Uh, but yeah, I'm very happy about with my life. I'm very happy uh, where I come from I'm, and where I am right now. But uh, there will be always things missing. Otherwise, you're, you're going to be without a purpose. I'm saying it over and over again, but that's really the point of life. So um, yeah, there are things missing. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? Spain! Viva España! I'm actually not far away to moving in Spain. Hopefully 2025. That's actually my main goal for the next year, look up to it. Let's see. What's your favorite car? I was never really that much in, into cars until I bought my Porsche this year. And um, I like fast cars now. So uh, I don't really have a favorite car, probably Porsche because it's mine. But in the future, I want a faster one. So that's the point. Are you Bulgarian? Da, Bulgarian some. Would you go back to Bulgaria? Not really, to be honest, not really. That's my homeland. I'm forever grateful where I come from. I'm proud to be a Bulgarian as well, but it's just not the place I would like to spend my whole life uh, in the future. That's it. Which tattoo is your favorite most meaningful? This one. Uh, this is the Nine Tail Fox from Naruto. I don't know if you see it, but the first time I did my tattoo, and this is the first one, uh, I told myself that I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have an immense energy and I'm gonna do whatever it takes. I think everything in my life is like, I connected with motivation and discipline. So, uh, crazy. Yeah, next one. Do you live the life you imagined? Actually, if you have asked me five years ago if, if you were going to do a social media, I would never say yes. I've never thought I'm going to do social media, actually. No, I didn't really live the life I imagined, but I'm even happier now. <laughs> do you eat chocolate, fast food, pizza? 
Why do you eat to have such a great body? I do actually eat everything and you can too. Just try to not overeat. That's the main reason people gain weight because you overeat. I eat once a day, but whatever I want. So yeah. What do you think makes someone a good person? Um, I would say whenever you want your friends or your close people uh, to succeed without any jealousy, trying to help other people with small things like um, uh, helping a grandma across the street or just like uh, somebody, just like really small things like even some, when somebody drops his hat and just picking it up, just trying try helping each other and that makes a person a better person just trying to help other people. Do you consider yourself a people pleaser? Well, not really. I do what I do and most of the time I'm alone so I don't really have that much people to please. What impresses you the most? Being a kind person and having a big heart. What does friendship means to you? For me, friendship is a very strong word. I cannot call a lot of people friends, to be honest. For me, a friend is a person who is ready to go anytime, any place, through the fire instead of me. It's hard to have these kind of people in your life. How would you spend your last day on earth? I don't think I'm gonna change anything. I'm just keep. I'm just gonna keep living life just as I do right now. Next one. What's your favorite quality about yourself? I'm very pretty. <laughs> Just joking, of course. I don't give up. That's the best quality you can have. If someone asks you asks for money under your name, it's probably a scammer, right? Of course. There are a lot of fake accounts under my name, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, Telegram, Facebook, wherever. Please, I would never ask you for anything. I would never ask you for money, I would never tell you. Or also there are like different managers there which are telling the people, hey, I'm the manager of Diane, I can connect you with you. I would never take money and none of my close people would take money from you. So please do not give money to anybody under my name. If you have played and succeeded in any sport, what would it be? Gymnastics. I actually wanted to train gymnastics when I was a kid, when I was like fourth grade. But then I broke my hand and uh, my mother and father didn't let me to go into the sporting, uh, the sports school. So I got into math school. Meh. What is the best fast dropping exercise and diet combo? Just eat less and do more sports. It's not much of a science. Three to five times sports a week is great. Also, it could be like 20 to 30 minutes, so it's nothing special. Just do it, even, even bike, even, even just riding a bike or like a stationary, stationary bike at home, uh, it will help you lose weight. Are you constantly recognized on the streets? Not really that regular, but it happened a couple of times. I actually really like when, when just people try to engage with me and just see me on the streets and ask me, say hello. So uh, yeah, if you see me somewhere along the street, just come and say hello. Will you continue to coach us on Untangled even with your new project? Of course, jump rope will stay forever a part of my life. So um, yeah, I will continue coaching on Untangled. And also the next challenge is up on the app today. So be sure to take a part. How do you handle failure or setbacks in your work? Well, failure and setbacks are good for me actually because whenever I fail or I have some kind of setback, I push myself even more. Every time we do something stupid or I just don't manage to meet my goal, I tell myself I'm gonna work I'm gonna do double the work to achieve this in less time. Failure and setbacks are necessary. Great Britain or Spain? Viva España. Sorry British, but that's my favorite country. If you could be anyone but yourself, who, who would you be and why? I've always preferred to be myself, of course. I love my life and I would change it for nothing on this world, for whoever person stands in front of me, but um, I would probably choose to go back in time and pick somebody like Julius Caesar. What skills do you believe are essential for success in your field? Just like every field, patience, consistency, persistency. That's everything you need. How do you manage stress and maintain your well-being amidst a demanding schedule? As I said, I try to pressure myself, but I'm actually the chillest person on this entire world. So um, there's just some things you can't influence. So just don't stress, <laughs> that's my advice. Can you share a pivotal moment that significantly impacted your life or career? I got a present a book from a friend five years ago, which is about saving money and um, just being successful. It's changed just my vision of about life and about future completely. So um, I found a goal and I'm starting working towards it. If you could have any superpower, 
what would it be and why? I would love to be able to teleport myself or time travel as well. What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? When I was in kindergarten, I, I shit myself, but I was, I was four, I can say that. I was four and I was in the, in the bed and I remember I shit myself and the teacher found out and I was like completely embarrassed that everybody was seeing uh, me, even if I was four, but I still remember it to this point. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Frozen water ice cream. I really love it, especially in the hot days of the summer, just getting the frozen water ice cream. It's like super cold and refreshing. I love it. And what's your most unusual talent or skill? I can spit like a cobra. Oops. That was it guys. Make sure to like and subscribe and write a comment below if you have any ideas about what you would like to see from my YouTube channel. So, bye bye.